They raise the possibility that human nature cannot be counted on to insulate men from brutality and inhumane treatment at the direction of malevolent authority. A substantial proportion of people do what they are told to do, irrespective of the content of the act and without limitations of conscience, so long as they perceive that the command comes from a legitimate authority. That's what that man is hollering in there, sir. As I said before, although the shocks may be painful, yeah, they're not but dangerous. I mean, he's, he's yelling in there. Start with blue, please, at the top of the page. Continue, please, teacher. Well, I told him we're going over it again. No, just, just go ahead. Blue, boy, girl, grass, hat. Correct. Nice. Day, sky, job, chair. Wrong. Answer is day. 285 volts. Continue, please. Fat. Man, lady, tub, neck. Answer, please. Wrong. Answer is neck. 300 volts. I absolutely refuse to answer anymore. Get me out of here. You can't hold me here. Oh, you know, I keep giving them shocks. Continue. Please. I'm up to 390. Continue, please. Something's happened to that man in there. Nice one. Gold. Dollar necklace. Moon. Paint. Something's happened to that man in there. You better check in on him, sir. He won't answer me or nothing. Please uh, continue. Go on, please. You accept all the responsibility? The responsibility is mine. Correct. Please go on. Gold. Dollar. Necklace. Moon. Paint. The answer is duck. 435 volts. It says danger. Severe shock here. Next six on the next one. Continue, please. 435 volts. Next one. Brave. Woman. Soldier. Dog. Horse. Answer is woman. 450 volts. That's it. Now continue using the last switch on the board, please. The 450 switch for each wrong answer. Continue, please. I not got no answer. Please continue. The next word is white. Don't you think you should look in on him, please? Not once we've started the experiment. Well, what if something's happened to the man hadn't attacked or something there? The experiment requires that we continue. Go on, please. Don't, it, don't the man's health mean anything? Whether the learner likes it or not, we but must... But he might be dead in there. I mean, some people can't take this shock, sir. Please I mean, continue. I don't tend to be rude, but I mean, I think you should look in on him. Whether I mean, all you gotta do is look in the door. I don't get no answer, no noise. Something I think has happened to the gentleman in there, sir. Cloud, horse, rock, house. Answer, please. The answer is horse, 450 volts. Next word, sad, face, music, clown, girl. The answer is face, 450 volts. Next one is short, sentence, movie, skirt, time. All right, excuse me, teacher. We'll have to discontinue the experiment. I'd like to uh, ask you a few questions, if I may. I'll actually go on quite uh, gleefully. Uh, no matter what? No matter what. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, uh, maybe in other instances where human life wasn't involved or a person has suffered, maybe I keep going on. But, I mean, I couldn't see the point. I don't want a guy to suffer there. I figured he was having a heart attack or something. That's the reason I wanted to stop. Right. Um, well, you know that in a uh, hospital situation, if you work for a doctor as an orderly, and he told you to give a hypodermic to a patient, even though the patient uh, protested, well, you might have to do it. Okay. Well, that's true, sir. If I understood, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe more of what the treatment was he was getting in there, maybe I would go on. But, I mean, the way he was hollering, I thought he was an agony. Yeah. I mean, then I think it's for somebody that knows a little more about this machine and stuff to say whether to go or not. That's why I asked the gentleman there, should I keep going? Why don't we bring in uh, Mr. Wallace? He's actually an employee of the project. You'll see he's in one piece. Jim? God Why bless you, boy. You, you have me shaking in here. <coughs> nice to see you. Same you here. Better now? I sure as heck do. That's true. I
The results, as I observe them in the laboratory, are disturbing. They raise the possibility that human nature cannot be counted on to insulate men from brutality and inhumane treatment at the direction of malevolent authority. A substantial proportion of people do what they are told to do, irrespective of the content of the act and without limitations of conscience, so long as they perceive that the command comes from a legitimate authority. If in this study, an anonymous experimenter could successfully command adults to subdue a 50-year-old man and force on him painful electric shocks against his protests, one can only wonder what government, with its vastly greater authority and prestige, can command of its subject.